Good evening. It's Rani Yoga Devi, and I'm coming to you from my home. Um, there's two things that I want to address in tonight's video. You can see it's late. It's very late. We've been having um, some air quality issues in Canada because of fires in Quebec and in Ontario. <sighs> disappointing because I think they might have been set. I don't want to get into politics or anything like that, but it's disturbing why all of these fires are <sighs> raging right now in the middle of one of the driest seasons we've ever had. So the first thing I want to address is the, um, work that I've been doing on my face that I've been following up with in the last few videos. Um, it's been quite effective at making the jowls less prominent. It's been very effective at minimizing lines here and around my lips and eyes. I think I have to do a little bit more work on my forehead because I have some lines there. And I found out recently that these lines are the same lines that my grandfather had, my fa my mom's dad, who I never met. He passed away when my mother was 14. So I never got to know him at all, except through pictures. So next time I get a chance to look at pictures of him, I'll take a look for those facial lines, because <laughs> we do have ways of, of moving our face that um, are, we think are unique, but they might be somebody else in our family that has had the same expressions. It's interesting when you think about it. So things are going well with this, with the anti-aging work that I've been doing. I shouldn't really even call it anti-aging. It's just to keep myself looking as young as I possibly can. So that's been going very well. And so um, one of my contacts was asking about meditation today. So that's the next thing I want to address. Meditation is a very important skill to have, extremely important skill to have. Whether you can meditate 20 minutes morning and night or 10 minutes morning and night or just 10 minutes once a day, it doesn't matter. You know, the longer you meditate, the more you are able to meditate more. So don't, in the beginning, when you're trying to learn how to meditate, don't worry about how long you meditate. What you want to really focus on is having your mind free of thoughts as much as possible. That being said, the moment you close your eyes to meditate and want to free your mind of thoughts, Thoughts will be coming into your mind. That's okay. The skill is in letting those thoughts go like passing clouds. That's the real skill of meditation. It's not how you close your eyes. It's not what you do. Um, it's not how you sit, although how you sit is very important as well. So I guess the first thing, if you can do a cross-legged position, Oh, I've got this thing for my computer sitting on my couch here. Not good. Okay, so if you can sit in a cross-legged position, for a lady, you want your left leg to be over top of your right leg. So you're going to cross your right leg first, and then your left leg over top of that. That creates the right energy for you to meditate. And then... <clears throat> If you want to, you can put your hands in a mudra. The traditional mudra is this one, but I do a different one. I do this one most of the time because I also have a, a, a mantra that I use. You don't need to have a mantra. I happen to have one. I have a few actually. I would have one that was given to me by one teacher and one that was given to me by another teacher and then one that was given to me by my my um, uh, guru in the Himalayas who's passed away in November. 
I think it's really important to have something that you're focusing on. And it doesn't matter whether it's a sound or music that you're listening to in the background or whatever it might be. The most important thing when you're meditating is to be able to be at peace with what is and be at peace with yourself. So I'm going to do a very short meditation just to show you what it should look like, like what it should feel like. For me, I find it very important to make sure that my back is well supported. So I have a cushion that I put behind my back when I meditate so I can be nice and tall through my spine without having to work too hard at it. That's really important because your spine should be straight when you meditate. So my spine is now straight. Now, if you don't do a mudra with your hands, your hands should be palms facing up on your lap. You could do mudra if you want, but you don't have to. This helps to focus the mind. This helps to bring the head down to the heart. Head, heart. So this is the easiest mudra for most people to do. So I'll do that one for right now. So the next thing you want to do is close your eyes. If you have eyeglasses, you can take them off if they bother you. If you want the lights low, you can turn the lights low. If you want to burn a candle, you can burn a candle. Just make sure it's safe. I'm not going to do any of those things right now because I'm on a video. <laughs> and you wouldn't see all the ambiance anyways. So, mudra. Nice tall spine. Relax your shoulders. And allow yourself to take a deep breath naturally. Relax the tongue in your mouth. Relax the eyes. And just let go. Observe the sensations in your body. Relax the body, keep it as still as possible. Notice any sensations. You'll notice as the body becomes relaxed, a gentle smile will automatically come on your face. when you're ready to come out, simply open your eyes, release your hands, take the palms and place them in a different position. They don't have to be flat down on your knees. That's what I usually do, but they don't have to be. You just want to close that energy that has been going through the palms of your hands. There's a chakra in the palms of your hands and that's, that's why you want to do that. There's also a chakra in your throat. My throat's been bothering me today, so the first thing that I noticed as soon as I went into the meditation was the irritation that's happening in the throat. I think some of it has to do with uh, what's happening with the fires and things and the environment and breathing all that in. So that's how you start to meditate. I'm not going to 
carry on with a very long melodramatic Bruce me meditating video because it's not helpful to you to be able to just meditate along with me. The key is to be able to do it yourself. Um, it's it's beneficial perhaps in the beginning to have somebody to follow along with to start your meditation. But once you get into the flow of meditating, simply finding a place that is comfortable for you to meditate and that you can regularly meditate without being disturbed. That's the most important thing. Uh, if you'd like, you can face east. They say that that is a, a very, very good direction to be meditating. I am facing south right now. I do prefer to do most of my meditation uh, facing east, but in this apartment, this seems to be the most uh, convenient place. And yeah, I'm facing south. South is okay too. Um, each direction has its own energetic benefit to meditate in that direction. So I guess that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns about meditation, let me know because meditation is a very, very important thing. And it's really a very, very simple skill. Once you, again, have that right posture that you're comfortable, it's just a matter of closing your eyes and letting whatever happens happen. If your um, thoughts come, just let them come and go like passing clouds. And that's the main key to make sure that you're not going to be disturbed and, and to don't expect it to be flatline, nothingness. It won't be because your mind is involved. Your mind, they say, vacillates. It goes all over the place. And the minute you try to rein it in, it will vacillate more. So don't try to rein it in. Just allow yourself to notice what is, notice what comes up for you when you decide to meditate. Um, meditation is a wonderful, wonderful way to regenerate your energy if your energy is low or if you just kind of feel in the middle of the day you need a little bit of a boost of energy. That's a good time to meditate too, but first thing in the morning is good to set the tone for your day. And in the evening is good to help you get ready for sleeping. Um, the body, the body and the mind just really appreciate little breaks where you just allow yourself to be still and you just allow yourself to be with yourself because how much of our life are we just busy, busy, busy and not allowing ourselves to just be. Think about that. Anyhow, that's all for today. Good night.